so hi everyone in my last video we discussed about how we can get to an algebraic solution for a zero sum game now moving on we'll try to figure out a mathematical solution for a non zero sum game again the uh, the scenario remains the same we have taken uh, the uh, case from uh, cricket where we have a bowler who can bowl out two actions that is in swinging delivery and out swinging delivery similarly for a batsman he can either play in offside or leg side and depending upon that they have got the different payoffs that uh, the different rewards that they would get now eventually uh, first of all let's understand why this scenario is a non zero sum game if you see in different conditions the total gains and the total loss made in the entire scenario is different that is in the first case we have 4 plus 1 that is 5 in the case, second case we have 1 plus 5 equals to 6 in the third case we have 0 plus 10 equals to 10 now eventually you see that in different states we are having different uh, summations coming up for a total gains and total loss in case of a zero sum game in every condition zero sum or a constant sum game in every condition the total loss of the total gains equals to some c uh, in case of zero sum it's zero so we'll try to figure out a solution for uh, uh for a non zero sum game now uh, the solution is almost uh, similar to the one that we discussed in the case of a uh, zero sum game so again huh. so we'll uh, fix the action by uh, one of the opponents then consider the probability of one of the actions as x and other as 1 minus x for the correct player for which we are trying to fix out this probability we are trying to figure out figure out the mixed probability strategy that should be followed and then as we have two actions we'll be getting two equation uh, two terms and we'll be equating them so again let's see with an example only assume the bowler bowls with an in swinging probability of x and out swinging with the probability of 1 minus x as we, as we did in our last case then if the batsman plays offside his uh, his batsman's payoff expected payoff would be 1 into x plus 10 into 1 minus x as we said that key um, as we discussed in the last equation also the reason behind this this becomes our uh, term when the batsman plays offside and when the batsman plays leg side uh, his payoff become 5 into x plus 1 into 1 minus x this one and equating these two terms we will try to solve a value for x that is x equals to 9 upon 13 that means the bowler should bowl in swinging delivery is the probability of 9 upon 13 and out swinging delivery is the probability of 4 upon 13. Now similarly, if you wish to solve it for batsman, what we would do, uh, we will fix, uh, we will say uh, the batsman will bat in the offside with the probability of x and on the leg side of the probability of 1 minus x and eventually we will fix the ball bowled by the bowler. So uh, if the bowler bowls an out swinging delivery, then we will try to calculate his expected payoff in place of a batsman. 